that there's rocks down in that fire? Might make it. See those rocks? Those were actually used to I cook our porridge. I was prepping wow. some other things, and I'll be like, oh, um, it's out, and then I would go in We and take like, acorns, oh, like, like, and you know, the acorns are like, dried, the uh, and then you know, they're like, eventually ground up into like, flour. You know, you're like, oh, like, oh, oh what I was doing is I was sand prepping all my over there, and then the water is poured through the acorn flour until all the tannic acid is leached out. And that takes it, it several does, hours does, to keep it, pouring it sits, water through and, and leaching it out. Pouring water and leaching it out. And then, when you have the I think by it's taste, really you can taste it's not so bitter good. anymore. It's actually uh, not bitter I didn't anymore. It. I've you actually it. put it in a bowl <laughs> with some water. And um, you, if you could not take do these hot rocks after and you rinse them in another bowl of water, put them in there, and the rocks cook the porridge. Keep stirring the rocks around. Oh, okay. And the soup. And eventually it cooks into porridge. You take the rocks out, and then you have your porridge, which you can go sample over there if you'd like. So we've just finished cooking some, and you can take, take a taste of it. Cool. Thank you, man. A lot of the hard part is knowing that you're saying the words correctly. I mean, like for myself, that's one thing that I always look at, right? Like, am I saying it right? Right? Everything that I do with language, um, I try to base it towards that younger generation. Uh, we're trying to teach the young people who are interested into doing it. We're not a person, a people who push people. Well, we kind of, you know, say we, we don't push people to uh, do what they naturally, but you can tell when a kid doesn't naturally want to do it, yeah. you know? So you just say, well, you stand off to the side and wait for everybody to finish. That's fine, you know? Everybody's different, you know? And we allow for that difference in our society. I'm, I'm not really a dancer, I'm more of a drummer, uh, but uh, it's really significant, uh, like on the deer dance, you know, you have to have a deer, you know, uh, the bear dance, it's all bears, you know, the bears are the healers, and Everybody has a different, uh, every tribe has a different uh, sacred animal. Uh, most California tribes have, have uh, the coyote. The, he's known as the trickster. How does uh, nature influence the uh, dance regalia? Uh, nature is all, we used to, a long time ago, we used to only be able to wear California uh, regalia, and and that was any animal in from California. I had a, a mountain lion pelt, and uh, oh, I was unhappy when it started to uh, all the hair started to fall off. <laughs> I was really 